What's up, y'all? It's Chef Gennard here, host of New Soul Kitchen. Y'all already know how I get down in the kitchen, but I got something especially for them work-from-home moms and dads looking to fix something quick for the kids, don't want to spend a lot of money, perfect dish for you. Now, what this is? Chicken. But we're going to hook it up. We're going to make it a chicken pot pie, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys, first you'll need is one box of puff pastry that you can get out of your freezer section. Then from there, one roasted chicken that you can get out of your local grocery store already roasted, one tablespoon of butter, two cups of chicken stock, one cup of heavy cream, five to six ribs of celery, fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, two cups of sweet peas and carrots already mixed together, and of course, a cast iron skillet that we're gonna bake this baby in. All right, so first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I put a little olive oil in the bottom of my cast iron skillet. We're gonna open that puff pastry up, and we're gonna lay it in the bottom of our skillet, just like this. And we're gonna put that first layer in the oven, and we're gonna let it bake for 10 minutes so it can fluff up. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our celery. What I've already done is preheated my skillet that I'm gonna make my chicken pot pie sauce in. So that's what we wanna do here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just finally dice up those celery pieces to go. All right, guys, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna melt that butter in our skillet. And as we melt the butter in the skillet, we're gonna go ahead on and add our flour in as well. So we're going to allow the butter and flour to just cook together. Cook together, get that blended good. Then we're going to add in the heavy cream. And, uh, and, this, and also that flour adds as a, as a thickener too. So what we're going to do, we're going to let the heavy cream and the flour just blend together with the butter. Just break down, just break down, guys. So what you want to do is you want to let this just come to a simmer for about five minutes. And once this finish, once this comes to a simmer and all of the flour has broken up in it, what we're going to do is we're going to add that chicken stock in, guys. So let's saute this up for a minute. All right, guys, now that we have that incorporated together, we're going to add the chicken stock in. Add the chicken stock, and we're going to stir it until it all comes back up to temp. The heavy cream flour chicken stock is gonna blend together to form a cream. All right, guys, look at this after five minutes of stirring. Look how beautiful, creamy, and velvety this is. Now, also, I pour that bottom layer of the puff pastry out of the oven. Look how good that's looking. That's what we're gonna pour this sauce over the top of. All right, so now, what I like using is Chef Gennard's all-purpose seasoning that you can get at wholecuisine.store. Use one teaspoon of it. Then we're gonna add in our celery. We're gonna add in our celery into it. And we're gonna add in our carrots and sweet peas. And we're gonna blend all that together, guys. Look at this, look at this, looking good. That's what you want right here. Looking good, nice and creamy, nice and creamy. Yeah. All right, now that we got that blended up, and you don't have to worry about pre-cooking this because remember, we're going to put this in the oven and bake it so all those vegetables are going to cook perfect in it. All right, so we got that blended together good. Now you know what time it is to break that chicken apart. All right, guys, so, you know, the chicken is already roasted, so the good that good part, you don't have to worry about cooking chicken. We're just going to break this bad boy apart here because we want all of this beautiful meat here. This is what we want, guys. Now, me personally, I just discard the skin, but if if you want some skin, you can throw some skin in there too. But the whole thing is, how often do you eat a chicken pot pot that got skin in it? Not that often. I ain't never ate one like that. So, we're going we're gonna to pull all this meat off of all of the chicken. We're pulling it out of the breast meat, the, those thighs, those legs, and all of it is going into our chicken pot pie, guys. This is what you want right here. Very simple. I ain't even taking a lot of time out of your day. All right, guys, so what you wanna do is you just take your knife, 
just give it some nice rough chops. You know, I still like leaving some of those pieces big, so I get some nice, good, juicy, juicy chunks in there. But yeah, you got a mixture of your white meat and your dark meat coming together, which is gonna make the flavor profile just outstanding. Then from there, we just dropping all of that in our pot, guys. All of this is going into our pot. All right, guys, now after you've blended everything together, we're gonna pull this over the top of that first puff pastry, yeah. This is what you want right here. This is what you want, I guarantee the kids, everybody love you for this right here. And you just coat it evenly over. This works amazing, the cast iron skillet, or you can use a, a, a Pyrex dish, whatever you want. Then you take that second layer of puff paste, you guys, and it's going right over the top here, yeah? right over the top. It is stretchable, so you can pull it out, you can pull it out. You can pull it out to get those edges. Get those edges, get those edges, guys. This is what we want right here. Dinner will be served, lunch will be reserved, brunch, whatever you want to call it. Now, we're gonna pop it in the oven and we're gonna let this bad boy bake for 15 minutes. All right, guys, look at this. Just came out the oven. Look how beautiful it is. Look how flaky that is. That's what you want, guys. You can prepare this in the comfort of your own home, ladies and gentlemen, within 30 minutes. Man, look, it's smelling so good. I'm gonna give me a bowl of this thing. Here, look at this. Look at that. Can you hear that crunch? That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Let's get up in there. We already know. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's go ahead get into it right there guys we got we got a crust on the top we got a crust on the bottom the whole nine yards the whole nine yards all right guys let's get into this thing get a little of that crust too mm. this right here smack your mama and your daddy good creamy just like you want it got that roasted chicken in there really accent that flavor this pro Man, this puff pastry ain't no joke. Nice, crunchy, flaky, getting the freshness from all those veggies out of there. Guys, y'all make sure y'all keep checking Ricky Smiley Pages out for all these great recipes. As well, go on over there and follow me on Instagram, at Chef Jannard, and make sure you check out my show that comes on every day, New Soul Kitchen on Clio TV. I'm going to holler at you.